Anton Scoro, BJPin.com, sitting here with a monster of a heavyweight who is getting ready to take on Matt Mitrione. Phil, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Yeah, I'm great, man. I'm great. Just uh, finished sparring there. Had a good day. Did a lot of rounds, man, so I'm feeling good, feeling fit. Man, how much do you love being over here? I mean, being at Alliance, it's got to be a, a different thing for you because you guys have so many monsters here. I mean, I just I got done watching you guys spar. I got done watching pro practice. I, I'm still kind of in shock and awe, man. I mean, how, how awesome is it for you to be over here uh, training with these guys? Oh, it's great, man. They're, like I said, the the training's on another level. The guys I've got to spar with here are great. Everyone's got killer instinct, but everyone's good friends as well. So it's great, man. It's great. Some, some uh, good spars today. All right, man. So Matt Mitrione uh, is the next guy in front of you. This was a fight that was supposed to take place uh, a while ago. How was it getting a chance to fight Matt Mitrione again because of uh, the, the things that happened the first time around? Oh, it's all good. I was, I was training for Matt before, but... He had obligations to, he, he got offered a fight with somebody else. He might have thought that was better. You, so it's all good. It's, uh, just train again, man. So it's just same old, same old, you know. All right, man. Matt Mitrione's a, a big guy. You're a big guy. Uh, the heavyweight division, I think, is one of those things where fans just expect fireworks. Um, do you think that you have the advantage over Matt when it comes to the ground and, and as well as standing? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, Matt, he's, uh, he's extremely fit, explosive. Uh, very unorthodox as well with the striking, but uh, I think in a grappling match I'll win. And I think my, I think my, my striking's a bit tidier, but my, like I said, Matt's fast, he's long, and he's explosive, man. So any, anything can happen, you know. Guy like Matt Mitrione, like you talked about, he's uh, he's a big guy, he's explosive, uh, ex professional football player. Do you think that that the power is going to be that big of a difference between you two? I think with a, I, I don't know, I don't know, Matt is it, he's explosive, but I'm a strong guy as well, I, I'm very explosive, so I gotta, we can expect a back and forth battle, I suppose, it'll be, it'll be good, it'll be good, good fight for the fans. Alright man, so uh, you staying over here until the end of camp and uh, and then making the, the flight over? Yeah, I'm here for another another three weeks of uh, training here, then uh, a week in Sweden, then fight and back home to the UK, so it's good, a bit of, bit of travelling, you know. How much do you enjoy traveling, bro? Because I know for a lot of people it becomes kind of a, a problem. It becomes a nuisance because you're on the airplane back and forth, jet lag, things of that nature. But at this point in your career, I mean, I would think that it's something that you've gotten used to. Is, is it something that you've started to enjoy now? Yeah, I, I love to travel, man. I want to see as much of the world as possible. You know, I've spent a lot, a lot of time here in San Diego. I'm still doing new stuff here. It's great, man. I miss, I miss everyone back home and things, but I like, I like to travel. And I, I don't mind jet planes. You know, the food's, the food's not so bad. And it's, uh, it's fun, you know. <laughs> All right, man, Phil. So before I let you go, uh, what's the craziest thing that you've done in San Diego? Oh, I don't know. The, the craziest thing? I, uh, probably uh, I went to go dirt biking the other day. That was, that was kind of crazy, but uh, I can't imagine I'll go very fast. But uh, I'll have a go, you know. That's it. Ha. Awesome, brother. Uh, anybody you want to thank before we let you go? Uh, just all my training partners here at Alliance. My, my training partners back at home at Fight Pit. My sponsors, uh, Fear the Fighter and uh, Smart Tech Nutrition back home and just uh, all my friends and family and everybody. Absolutely. Anson Skoro, Phil the Fries.